Hi, my name is Franklin Nolan. This is National Sickle Cell Month. Uh, 95th Congressional First Session Senate Calendar Number 348, Report Number 95-373, Docket 95-1, SRPT 373. Uh, this is from July 20th, Legislation Date 1977. The Legislation Date was actually July 19th. Order to be printed. Mr. Baith from the Committee on uh, Judiciary submitted the following report. A two company um, SJ Res 71. The Committee on the Judiciary to which was referred the joint resolution SJ Res 71 have been considered the same reports favorably there on the amendments and amendment to the title and recommends that the joint resolution be agreed to. The amendment is as follows. The committee has amended the title of the resolution by striking the word annually and by striking the word of each year, of each year rather, and inserting in lieu of thereof 1977. The text of the resolution is amended on the line three by striking the word annual on the line four by striking the words of each year and inserting them in lieu of thereof 1977. The purpose of this and the purpose of the joint resolution is to authorize the president to design the month of September 1977 as National Sickle Cell Month. Okay, the statement is Senator Glenn of Ohio and Senator Bay of Indiana may uh, made the following comments in support of this resolution. Uh, Mr. Green, Mr. President, last August 31, I joined the National Association for Sickle Cell Disease in bringing the public's attention the fact that the last September, the National Sickle Cell Month, today with Senator Bay, I am introducing Senate Joint Resolution 71, which would be empowered the President to designate September as National Sickle Cell Month annually. Uh, that's page number 89-010. It is important that this disease be periodically brought to the public's attention. Sickle cell anemia and inherent blood diseases by which primarily affect blacks. One out of 10 blacks has an estimated uh, to possess the sickle cell trait. Roughly one in every 400 blacks has sickle cell anemia. Uh, the minority of adults who have sickle cell traits are not aware that they are carriers of the sickle cell gene. Thus, it is particularly important that there be ongoing screening and testing programs at early age, followed by appropriate education and counseling. Of course, there may be continuing long-term research as well as uh, quant uh, quality medical care and treatment in this area. Mr. Baith, Mr. President, as a member of the National Advisory Board of the National Association for Sickle Cell, the NASCD, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to uh, conspire the resolution in which proclaims the month of September as National Sickle Cell Month. Mr. President, I feel it is only fitting and proper that the Congress act on this matter quickly and without delay. Certainly this kind of issue uh, with which most, if not all Americans are in agreement that agreement being that the eradication through prevention of sickle cell disease. For too many years, our black citizens have suffered from this crippling disease, and this resolution will be an important step in heightening public awareness of this terrible affliction. Okay, the cost, the enactment of this legislation involves no direct additional expenditure to the government. According to the committee, uh, recommends favorable consideration of the Senate Joint Resolution 71 with amendment. This is SR7, uh, excuse me, 373, National Sickle Cell Month, the 95th Congress, First Session Senate, calendar number 345, report number 95-373. Today's date is September 9th, 2015. I hope you had a good Labor Day weekend.